Hey guys, Chuk here with Chuk's Outdoor Adventures. Wanted to do an update on my Sitka Gore-Tex video I did recently. I had a lot of interest in that video. I was having major problems with my Sitka Stormfront Gore-Tex jacket, the $600 jacket that was not repelling water at all. And I did get a lot of feedback and people were telling me, Chuk, you're an idiot. You washed it with liquid detergent that takes out all of the waterproofing ability of the material and you also have to treat it with these special products. I didn't know that. I, I only washed it a couple times but I'm sure I ruined it then. So I tested it out. I got a brand new pair of Sitka Stormfront pants um, to match it and that these were $600 too. I went down to Prince of Wales Island where it just rained every day. I hiked a mountain. I went deer hunting and here's what happened. Okay. Here is my brand new Sitka Stormfront pants. We just got out of the rain, very rainy day in Southeast Alaska. Bone dry, I stayed completely dry. My pants were completely dry. I took these off actually because I was overheating a little bit on the way down. This jacket was saturated. I, my shirt is completely wet. It's wet on the inside, pretty bad. It did not hold the water like and that's three years old. Three-year-old jacket did not repel water at all. The brand new pants did. So it was frustrating for me because my three-year-old Sitka Stormfront jacket completely got saturated, was wet on the inside everywhere, but the Stormfront pants that were brand new repelled water very well, and I was actually very dry. I was very surprised. So I broke down and I contacted uh, Sitka and there's customer service I do have to say was excellent. They sent me a code, I FedEx the jacket to them. Within a few days they got back to me and they said, look, it's, it needs to be treated. There are a couple little holes here and there. You know, we can fix it up and retreat it and send it to you or we'll give you a brand new one for half price. And I thought about it, I thought about how good you know, my, my brand new pants did, and I was like, screw it, I just want a brand new jacket. So I was happy with the deal. I paid 300 bucks and I got a brand new $600 Stormfront jacket. I haven't hunted with it yet, but I will be hunting with it soon. Um, and I, they told me that you gotta use their WMR or whatever, their treatment. And they said, I was afraid to wash it. I only washed it a couple times because it got stinky in the duck swamp but they told me you have to wash it pretty frequently with their special detergent that uh, adds the ability to the Gore-Tex that you know updates it or whatever so they said wash it you know almost after every hunt every other hunt don't wait you know wash it pretty pretty regularly with our special stuff and that'll keep up the waterproofing so I'm gonna keep up with it and I'll give you more updates but as for the gear yeah it's overpriced I think that the guys that are going with first light Kafaru, Kuru, Kuru, Kuyu, however you say that those are the cool guys those are the cool kids um, I just happen to really like the pattern um, and I it's been it's good good quality gear I'm, I'm not gonna lie it's overpriced maybe but it's good stuff I'm gonna stick with it that being said, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the recent controversy over Sitka gear, chiming in about Anwar. Our governor here in Alaska, uh, you know, went on online and, and started bashing Sitka gear for getting involved with this out-of-state politics stuff about our industry. And I was very disappointed. I, I'm very disappointed in Sitka. So I'm kind of torn on one hand, I hate cancel culture. I, I cannot stand cancel culture where, oh, everybody gather around and let's cancel this brand and all these hunters, you know, stop buying Sitka gear. On the other hand, I mean, that, that's a pretty lame thing they did. It's a lame move. And personally, I'm probably not going to, after this, moving forward, I'm probably going to go with First Light and save some money. You know, it kind of pissed me off what they did. Now, I'm for all development. I don't like pebble mine. That's the only development I don't like uh, because I don't think a giant pit mine and on this beautiful salmon stream area is a good idea. I'm a fly fisherman. Otherwise, drill baby drill. I'm, I'm all about development and I've worked the North Slope for years 
up there and it's not hurting the caribou. I mean, there's a possibility of an oil spill. That's a tragedy. Other than that, the caribou just go under the pipeline. They, they, it's not hurting the caribou at all. There's nothing seeping into the ground and killing caribou. It's, it's a joke and I, there's so many social justice warriors freaking out about Anwar right now. I just do not get it. The people in that region that get dividends from that oil and, and would benefit, they're very poor. They, Alaska and those people especially need the money. Uh, they need to open it up. It would help the, the USA. It would help Alaska. There's no reason why we can't drill in Anwar. It's, it's just a joke. The, the, reasons these people are putting up for it. The worst thing that happened on the North Slope when I was there was the trash flying out of the back of trucks, but they cut down on that. There's a bunch of fines. You don't see trash on the side of the road anymore because they cracked down on that. So anyways, um, I'm pretty upset about that. I think we should drill in an Anwar and um, I'm upset Sitka Gear even said that. Um, it just, it makes me sad because every hunter, every brand ambassador, every professional hunter I know, tons and tons of them, they're all sponsored by Sitka Gear and they've got all these gears, you know, from Sitka Gear. They've got all the clothing that it, it works well. They're killing animals and making videos and taking pictures. And now they're torn. They're like, what do I do? You know, I'm, I've got this awesome gear and I'm in this contract, but now they go and say this lame stuff and it, they're all you know, conservative, and then it puts them in a lame position. And I just don't like it. I, I don't like cancel culture. And I feel bad for my buddies that are all sponsored by it. So I don't know what to say, but do what you want to do. Choose what you want to choose. I'm probably going to go with first light. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, in the future, right now, I'm going to stick with this because it's $1,200 a Gore-Tex, but in three years, it's going to be useless anyways. We'll see. I'll, I'll update you about treating it, but let me know what you guys think about Gore-Tex gear and the Sitka gear controversy. They did do good customer service, so I got to give them that. The guy I talked to on the phone was a hunter, seemed like an upstanding American, so those guys are probably upset what the leaders are doing too. I don't know. It uh, leaves a bad feeling in my stomach. I just don't like it. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, share, and subscribe. Help me out on Patreon if you can. It's true. Your friend the field.